usually in the mornings like when I walk in at six you'll see like half the yard will be asleep they'll be lying down some of them even snore in their sleep so it's funny I'm Pamela and I work as a groom in the Bukit Timah Saddle Club. Our main job over here is to oversee the health, care and maintenance of the horses that we look after. A groom's day starts off really early and we work long hours. Usually we have to report to work about 6 to 6.30 a.m. in the morning because we have horses going out at 7 so we do have to prep them beforehand. Mostly we will be cleaning out their stables, we will be grooming them and settling them up for lessons. We wash them down after. Sometimes if they are a little bit sore or can't be worked, we help to walk them or lead them around the yard as well just to get them moving a little bit. We're also responsible for turning them out into the fields just to make sure they have a little bit of playtime and some socialization with other horses. When I was young, I used to watch a lot of documentaries on National Geographic Channel, Discovery Channel, you know, where you have the professionals like Sir David Attenborough and Steve Irwin, the likes of them. It always provides an insight into a different world compared to what we're used to, especially when you're staying in Singapore where all you see are mostly the cityscape, skyscrapers, and you don't really see much of nature. This pony over here, this is Luigi, the one that's coming up to me and it's grey, he's frosty. And the brown horse over there, that is Shelly. They form a really nice play group. Occasionally, you will see some mutual grooming, like what Luigi and Shanley is doing at the moment. Scratch my back and I scratch yours. The expression usually comes from horses. This is the riding school yard of the Bukachima Saddle Club. We have approximately 45 horses in this yard. So they're all in the different blocks over here, as you see. This here is Hinnert. Hinnok used to be one of the horses that is riding for the Youth Olympic Games. He still teaches um, riders to jump, but he just doesn't jump as high anymore. But um, he's still quite an advanced level horse. Shanley is very friendly. He's still quite young. He's about six years old. He's still learning the ropes, but he's doing very well with a, a teenage rider at the moment. And he, he makes a lot of friends in the paddocks as well. Do you have a horse that you're particularly attached to? I wish I can say that uh, I'm not biased, but you know, if you ask all the people around here, they will tell you it's Muffin. So he's this little um, pony. He's my height, so easy to. I think it's safe to say that I really like working over here. So I love the horses. I love the working with people that I have over here. There's a lot of kampong spirit here. The most rewarding part of the job for me personally is um, getting to work in such an environment that integrates nature as well as me being able to spend time with animals. I really enjoy having the peaceful and tranquil like surroundings that we do over here. Being able to spend it with the animals and the horses over here as you get to bond with them and everything, it's just a feeling that I cannot put into words.